What's the crack lads? Good morning and welcome to another What's New on Thursday video. So we're going to be just doing a complete roundup of everything that they've added today. It's mostly cards. There's a couple of Halloween bits and pieces as well as monthly MVPs. We do have a little video here. Obviously, we saw this Halloween campaign yesterday if you watch my video. But essentially, this these are free players, but they've also added a club pack and they've also added a new manager. We're going to get into that in a second as well. These seem to be like the EAFC or the FIFA style. I, I can't remember what they were called. It was like shifters or shapeshifters or something. We also have another blitz curler added to the mix. But listen, I, I think that at this stage with the game, lads, I do feel like that it is waiting for the next big update. I know we keep saying that, but I do feel like it's waiting to kind of change. This seems to still be in the same structure and the same kind of um, template for everything that we get. The new campaigns are literally just filtered in or just slotted in to the pre-existing, you know, campaigns that we already have. And it's the same, same thing going on for the last couple of months, right? So we do get our free player there, which is going to be Jorginho. We're also, go we're also going to have on our Halloween campaign from the 24th to the 31st. That will bring us up to Halloween itself. We're going to have these trainers here, it's training programs, right? So on top of that as well, we do have Kai Havertz, who is part of the new uh, pack or the new kind of like shapeshifter or whatever they're calling these here now as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. I do feel as if that they will probably extend this out a little bit. So there's Kai Havertz. Yes, he's down as a left back and he's free. So it's obviously just kind of shifting the, the positions and just having a bit of kind of like a Halloween themed spooky card, I suppose. He's down as an attack and full back. He actually has blocker and interception. It's a very interesting card. I'll be honest with you. He's on D rating, but it is an interesting card. And his stats do actually kind of like line up with a full back. So, you know, it's, it's strange, but he has his finish in there at 79 as well. Um, and we also do have, as I said, we do have that card, uh, those cards there. Now, interestingly enough, lads, look at this little box, man. It looks like kind of a Super Mario box, uh, 30th of October. So it's going to be interesting to see what that will be. I reckon that that's going to be like a position change or some way of transforming the card that it's tied in. But who knows? We're also going to be getting a center forward, Jorginho, and a Jesus, that's a right winger as well. We do have a new strip in the kit, as, or a new kit here as well. Two new kits have been added to the shop with special designs for Halloween. And there you can see them, Day of the Dead 24 and Halloween 24 as well. Uh, so this is kind of something that they've done for the last year or two. Uh, we also have an Arsenal pack. So finally, they have added the club packs. Now, I said it yesterday in my video, if you watched... I did give a tip and I did give a little hint that the club pack was going to be coming today. If you guys picked up on that, GG's. But we do have this pack here, which is 1,500 coins. Now, we do have pretty much the whole squad here. Um, obviously, there's a couple of omissions, but Havertz is still there. Um, we have Odegaard there, Saliba there, Declan Rice, Saka. Obviously, you're going to be missing. It's it's the, the first squad or whatever, but it's 1,500 coins. You are going to get Mikel Arteta, who's going to be long ball counter. He's going to give you a booster of plus one. And a booster of plus one to tight possession. So lads, we've got a double booster manager. The first double booster manager. Your eyes do not deceive you. And let me just tell you this, lads. I am telling you straight up. 90% of people are going to use Mikel Arteta. And this is where they're making the big dollar coins. Or the big dollar bills uh, with this. Because a lot of people want to give that extra edge to themselves. Especially if they're playing a win at all cost mentality. This guy is going to give you everything you could possibly want with acceleration and tight possession. Two key stats when you're training a card. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be the new meta, I think. We're going to have to do a video on him and see. Now, I've been absolutely beasting. I did a video on out wide. I'm going to have to try out Mikel Arteta today. We'll see what the crack is with him. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. We also have a couple of other cards in here that are going to be nice as well. But that is the full pack. We'll do a review on that as well later on today. Those are the two kits. So you can see here, the, these are the kits here. Um, with this nice little kind of design. Ah, listen, lads, look. The, the kits are what they are, man. It is what it is. You don't have to get them, I suppose. They're kind of like skins in Fortnite. They're 300 coins here. And then, of course, we have the 300 coins for this one here as well. Listen, I do like this sort of stuff. I just wish that it was kind of... Yeah, I wish that there was a way to earn it rather than it being for coins. I've said that all along. I can see why they're trying to do it. I'd be very interested to see the ana uh, you know, the, analy uh, the analytics and the actual data as to who is buying these kits. Because I definitely think it could be better if you had campaigns that were going to kind of round up everything and just be able to win them there, right? The rest of the stuff that we have here, we have our normal events and stuff. I won't keep this video too long. We have our normal events here, and of course, um, we have the J-League monthlies, we have the Player of the Week, we have the Super League here, 
Um, and then obviously we're going to be getting brand new cards on the Monday as well. So these are the cards we're going to be getting on the Monday. I'll do a full video on these as well. So that seems to be a Blitz Curler Burkamp. A Berbatov is joining as well as Dennis Law. It's going to be interesting because Burkamp might be usable with that Blitz Curler, even though the Blitz Curler is not what it used to be before. Um, we'll have a full video on that as well. And of course, that is the player of the week selection there. So we knew Messi was going to be coming. We knew Harry Kane was going to be coming. Oshman gets a card. Uh, Gavi gets a card. John Stones, Curtis Jones. So we're pretty much bang on with five or six of these uh, cards that we predicted that were going to come. So that is it for me, boys. That is it for another roundup. We will be streaming today. Uh, we'll have a look at the J-League monthly players as well. There isn't anything else really that they've talked about here, apart from the events, obviously. Um, but one thing I will say is that they have all the new campaigns and they have uh, the Halloween campaign kicking off with new objectives as well, right? So with that campaign comes the objectives and that's going to be a way for you guys to earn coins. And of course, again, as I've said, it's uh, it's kind of, you know, rinse and repeat a lot of the time where you just need to log in or you need to, you know, win games or score goals or whatever, score using players from AI matches. You work your way through this and you will obviously get another... Um, uh, login bonus with five logins or this trainer programs with the rest of them but they'll probably add to that as well over the next couple of days it's 13 days in total um and as for the rest of it with the match pass and all that the events and all that we know it's pretty much going to stay the same um i don't think that we're going to get anything brand new until eFootball's next big update which looks to be it looks to be uh, with V4.2. So we'll have a bit of news on that later. We do have the London Clubs themed event. That's going to be the random booster that you get with that. That's against PvP online, skill trainers, and then team play co-op is back. And of course, then we do have the national teams here for your player of the week. And the London Clubs is going to be position trainer. So yeah, that is it for me. I will see you in the stream in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Peace.